Right, good morning, welcome back. Okay, first of all, thank you for your kind comments in the last video. Yes, the exhaust does look rather nice and it sets off the rest of the bike so far and of course, highlights a few other little areas I now need to deal with. And of course, thank you for your good wishes on the move. It's gonna be a monumental task and we're gonna take you along for the ride, so we've lots to enjoy. But today, I've gotta to deal with the radiator. I wanna get that on there. Now, the radiator itself is processed, it's done, the two broken threads are dealt with and it's fully washed out. But it is held in place on the bike by a total of 22 separate fittings and they're all all in a dreadful state so they need to be cleaned up and processed today get that done and get it thrown on the bike hopefully and there's also some painting to do those shrouds that go on the side as you can see they're in an absolutely dreadful state so we're gonna get those cleaned off and repainted by the end of this video then walk away and that'll be nice and dry for next time to just bolt them carefully in place and that'll be another nice shiny looking area of the bike anyway lots to do let's stop talking and get on with it
You know, as you go through your project, perfecting things and putting them back on the bike, you start to realize things that were okay when you first disassembled it actually could do with a freshen up, could do with a repaint. And the radiator is a perfect example. It looks lovely outwardly and the sides of it look, look okay. But seriously, looking around it, it's chipped, scratched here and there. And once you take the sharp stainless wire brush and you get some in there at the bottom, it starts flaking off all the little bits at the bottom where the water has collected and just corroded under the paint. So look, I'm gonna clean this up and I might as well paint it because freshly painted after it's already had its threads repaired, it's been flushed inside, that's a brand new radiator then and that's right, that's the correct way to do it and that's how I want to put it on the bike, no less. So I'm going to paint this, also the little brackets that hold it underneath, some of the paint flaked off in the booth so why not and the same with the side shrouds. So I'm going to paint everything I need to paint on this and the usual drill, once the paint's wet, switch off the lights, step out the door and I'll come back next time, reassemble it all, put it all on in one go. Shiny bits on the side as well, even the shroud on the front, it would look absolutely fantastic. So that's it, let's get on with the paintwork. Thank you for watching, take it easy, ride safe and I'll see you next time. Let's get the paint out.